Hello dear ones, it's Alice. So this is a little more about um, strictures on the body and what to do about them and why. So the other thing about, about not uh, hindering the free flow of energy in the body, for instance, not, um, not wearing tight clothes, not wearing girdles, also not wearing metal uh, anywhere on the body unless it's especially good for placed in such a way as to be good for the um, nadis the, the lines like the acupuncture and acupressure lines in the, of energy flow in the body um, you don't want to impede them you see the um, the energy lines in the body what the ancient Indians called nadis, N-A-D-I. They are um, they're the extensions of the axiotonal lines of light that are that are that connect us through the hairline uh, wormholes to to the entire galaxy and then some to all the galaxies. Okay, like to Laniakea, our home supercluster. And um, and so the axiotonal lines of light within when they're within the body, they used to be called nadis, but actually it's still the axiotonal lines of light. Now they've been kind of shut down and constricted over the the dark years, and and now what's happening is they're plumping out and filling with light. Okay, and um, and um, and so. To assist them in doing that, what we need to do is we need to not feel any discomfort or stricture in the body, none whatsoever. So we just need to look at, look at that, how we can do that. And uh, then to keep them clear, once they fill with light, we need to continue to practice comfort for the body, ease and comfort for the body, ease and comfort for the, for the muscles, um, not stretching to prevent tight muscles and also um, uh, easy breath to to expand the the uh, muscles around the heart area so then where were we um, so then let's say you're you're doing your your yoga to um, to free your back muscles up like um, and uh, or stretching for your for your say lumbar area your just and also reaching down to your toes to stretch your legs and uh, turning your head to, to free up your neck and you're doing your long deep breathing to expand your chest muscles and relax them and uh, let's see what else um, so then you're in that way you're and you make sure that your clothes are like very loose and comfortable you're not wearing a girdle you're not wearing uh jewelry that will interfere with the circulation um and and your dna starts to expand okay now it expands they say from two strand to, to 20 to 12 strand and that happens in a way that's probably multi-dimensional because in the third dimension it will always look like two or so I hear okay but what is happening is you're connecting to the other DNA in other dimensions all right so so all right so you have to keep keep the body clear keep the diet good keep the get plenty of rest um, get plenty of stretching and relaxing and taking care of yourself and if necessary use um, um, quartz to clear your aura you know whatever it takes and and just just to have a heart for your physical body have a an awareness of of the wonders of it and so don't let any teachings of the past prevent you from from taking full advantage of the ascension energy right now is the more we wait, the more fear the cells feel because the light that is near them, the light from the nadis is, is constricted and dark compared to the light that's all around them. Okay? 
we don't want that to happen. And the minute the nadis are open and free, we feel nothing but joy. So something to look forward to. And love you all lots. Talking your ear off about this topic these days. Take care. <laughs>